All right. Next question, Steve. Yeah. Is the 11900K an actual scam? Did you put all these in order or something? Um, well, I, they t- I tend to go in chronological order. Okay. But, so you might um, have had a few 11900K questions around it that released that video. I don't have Google in front of me, but I think by definition, it isn't a scam. Though, it kind of... Well, maybe by definition of scam, it kind of is. Because... It's selling a Core i7 part under the Core i9 branding at a premium. Is that a scam? I don't know. Mm. I'd say probably... It's great. It's very borderline scamish. So it's a scam, yep. a dishonest or illegal plan or activity. So first of all, it's not illegal. It's not, none of that. It's not illegal and it's pro- most likely not dishonest because they're not yeah. being dishonest about the product by saying it, it, it you know does something that it doesn't do. Their performance maybe claims being, are... Maybe they're being dishonest about the Core i7 being better than it should be. Well, the core, the the performance data they've presented is cherry-picked, mm-hmm. but it's not inaccurate. I think I'll go with my initial thought that it's not a scam. So I think it's not a scam, but that doesn't mean that it's a good product. <laughs> um, it certainly is up there in terms of trying to do the most you can do to get a sale for a bad product without doing illegal conduct because it's not it's not a good buy it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's very expensive compared to the Core i7 for a very small performance improvement mm-hmm. so that is like 3% it, you know i was just reviewing recently the like the quad core core i7 11370h laptop cpu mm-hmm. you know that's not a scam either mm-hmm. but it's a very it's you're close to deceiving your customers because that has Core i3 level performance, and the yep. Core i9 part has Core i7 level performance. So, again, it's it's not a good with, part. With that- your competitor being so competitive, it's not stuff you want to get known for doing. Like it really yes, hurts your reputation. It does this sort of stuff, and it, this is where you know again you brought up Ian's piece, which is fine as a separate thing, but I think as far as their image goes i disagree and i disagree with the comments that you can recover all of that in one generation because we've seen you can't and yet you probably can if you have the mind share and and the market share it's quicker to recover that but it takes if you have multiple generations of bad products it does take quite a while it takes many generations of good products to get rid of that sort of stigma that was that you are gathered with all those bad products let's say so that's right with them like they've been struggling in some ways for a few generations now. And it's very clear now to to everyone who's somewhat of a PC <laughs> enthusiast that they're struggling. And so they really don't want that to happen. They've 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 made they've uh, made it that the next generation has to really succeed. Whereas yeah, if they had right. have done what we talked about earlier with the price cuts, and then I think there'd be less pressure on the next generation to really deliver. Of course, that depends on what AMD do with Zen 4, and there's a lot of stuff to yet to happen there as well. Yeah. Anyway, it's so not sc- a scam. Yeah, scam scam's very harsh, but I think a lot of the other words you could use to describe the product are all very fair. 